So, so now we'll begin. Dr. Ting, thank you very much for joining me on the Jaw Hacks channel today to do an interview pertaining to the MSE. So I will um, briefly introduce you, Dr. Ting, and by all means, if I miss any important details or if there's anything else you'd like the audience to know, please fill in. So we have here today Dr. Richard Ting, uh, who graduated from USC Dental School in 1991, who did an orthodontics residency in 2001 at NYU, and who now uh, owns and operates Ting Orthodontics, Airway and Functional Orthodontics in Rancho Santa Margarita, California, which is in Orange County, California, smack dab between San Diego and LA. So it's about an hour in change from downtown San Diego and about an hour in change from downtown LA. And of course, Dr. Ting is uh, one of the MSE uh, guys, uh, gurus. He's done close to 300 MSE cases. And so today we want to pick his brain about the MSE, which is the maxillary skeletal expander. Um, so thank you for joining us today, Dr. Ting. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yes, we're happy to have you and we appreciate your time. My pleasure. So Dr. Ting, is there anything else you'd like to add about it? How, how many MSE cases um, do you have at this point? Right now, we have a little bit over 300 cases, actually. Just okay. this month alone, we have about 30 cases in August going in. So we're probably going to hit the 350 pretty quickly in about two months. So are you seeing more and more cases, uh, more and more patients who want the MSE appliance? Yes, actually, we have patient come for a consultation just to request the MSE device. And of course, you can't just have the MSC device put in without a comprehensive orthodontic treatment because all the jaw, everything will change, okay? So usually, you, the patient will follow through with a comprehensive orthodontic treatment. It's either with the braces or the Invisalign or a hybrid of both. Right, and so is there anyone in the world who has more MSE cases than you at this point? As far as I know, no. Now, Dr. Wang Moon is the inventor. I'm not sure how many cases he's done by himself. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he used to talk at UCLA. I'm not sure if he's still at UCLA. And uh, um, the student will do some MSE cases. So personally, I put on my number in the MSE user group. So far, nobody challenged the number than more than mine. Okay. So actually, uh, on a side note, I did have uh, someone who I spoke with through my website tell me they were in touch with um, UCLA, and they told uh, that person that Dr. Juan Moon was no longer at UCLA. So oh, I see. I, see. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, yeah. you know, it's a lot we, of issue going on in UCLA. So uh, uh, you know, it's not got to do with how good of an orthodontist, how good of a teacher you are. Um, Dr. Moon is an excellent, excellent teacher and genius orthodontics. And um, if he departs from UCLA, it's definitely not because of ability or anything else. Okay, I can vouch for that. I know him personally. He's an excellent, excellent orthodontist. Yeah, no doubt. And we're all grateful to him for uh, inventing the the MSE uh, Type One and Type Two device, which I I wore the MSE Type Two for eleven months and achieved. Uh, a lot of expansion with it. So um, cheers, to, cheers to Dr. Moon yes. for his contribution to orthodontics. Now, on the side note that personally, I think MSC is one of the greatest invention in the reason orthodontic history. Okay. MSC wow. uh, with the TAB in combination, probably it's the game changer um, that haven't happened for the past hundred years in orthodontics. It's the first time, <clears throat> first time in the history will be able to change structure and function of the oral maxillofacial structure. So we're not just straightening teeth anymore. We can actually change and correct the structure and function of the face. That's remarkable. And just for the viewers, you mentioned MSE plus TADs. I want to make sure that, um, that the audience knows what you mean when you say that. We're talking about separate things. 
Now, TED was invented quite a while ago, probably 15, about 15 years ago, okay? So MSC is probably, I think, around five, six years ago invented. Both of them combined together changed the face of the Orlando. Sure, and can you just explain briefly, I think we know roughly what the MSE is. The MSE, of course, is a bone anchored uh, lateral palatal expander that splits the maxilla and allows you to achieve uh, an increased um, lateral dimension to the maxilla. Uh, we're all familiar with that, but what are TADs and how, and how do they, briefly, how do they relate to the MSE in an orthodontic treatment plan? No. MSC is anchored actually by four TADs. TADs, the full name will be temporary anchorage device. It's actually basically some mini titanium screw, something made out of stainless steel, something made out of titanium. And they use a little, little tiny screw, uses a bone anchor. Okay. So basically when you insert it in the bone, you can use that as an anchor to pull and push or push to any direction you want to, if it's possible. I see. So so the TADs, the TADs, often called TADs, are used in conjunction with the MSE. So of course, yes. they're part of the MSE because the MSE. MSE is screwed in with TADs, but then additional TADs might be used in conjunction with the MSE to accomplish other orthodontic uh, movements. Yes, that's correct. I see. I see. Thank you. And you're a, uh, my orthodontist, Dr. Zubad Nuwaz. And by the way, the audience should know that You've worked with Dr. Nuaz, my orthodontist, on my case. So you are a consultant. Uh, well, you've, you've provided a consultation on my case. Um, you're not too actively involved in my case, but uh, you've worked briefly with Dr. Nuaz on my case. And Dr. Nuaz refers to you as a, um, a big uh, expert of using TADS, not just the MSE, but also TADS. So um, you, you know, you're also... Uh, and an expert in that uh, orthodontic tool as well. Thank you. Yes, indeed.